Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, everybody. What in the world is this? Uh, well, what do you see in before your <laughs> eyes? Well, I don't know anything really about this, but it certainly looks like uh, a Game Grumps skinned Ace Attorney uh, Phoenix Wright situation. You would be correct, Dan. That's amazing. That's exactly what it is. And uh, not since uh, Grumps Dream Course has there been something that amazing. Um, yes, I mean, this is very impressive. I, I, I haven't been exposed to basically any of it, but I've seen some of the, like, visuals, uh, and it's, it's pretty incredible, um, what, uh, what's been done with these. Uh, so shout out to the creators of this game. Yeah, much um, love. Thank you so much for doing this. That's amazing. And it's to celebrate the nine-year anniversary of Game Grumps. Nine the first upload. Years. Yeah, that can you believe that? That is unbelievable. And yeah, I've I've been on the show for a little more than eight years, and you've been doing this for nine years, dude. Yeah, nine. What can I say? I'm still not funny. <laughs> so <laughs> it's been a flat curve. Yeah, they say ten thousand hours, but uh, pretty sure there's more content on the Game Grumps channel than that. <laughs> uh, so what the fuck happened? There's been no growth. Um, so we're gonna play this. Uh, it's gonna be great. Um, I I have to I I think I have to preface because this. It's still a little bit in development. Um, there's there's a bug that I think we might run into. Okay. Uh, we might not, but just to give everyone a heads up, um, there's a part in the game where it's very obvious I'm supposed to do something, and then when we do it, it doesn't work. So, I see. But uh, there's, a, there's a workaround, and I'll explain it when we get there. But anyway. Okay, but you have not played this. I have not. Okay. I don't know the plot. I know some characters that are in it. Um... But yeah, it's it's uh, it is it is us, right? And it's a power hour related caper. I can see that's the power hour room. Yeah, I mean that's that's perfect. They got Inky in the background and everything. Oh, little Inky, sorry, I hit your yeah, knee. Yeah, you broke my femur just now, <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah, so let's do this, man. I love it. Oh uh, shit! Oh my god! It's They've got that weird smiling poo with the heart and the winky face. Oh yeah, that's part of the power I said. Oh, the yeah. little sheep and everything. Yep, yeah. the, oh, the the paper airplane that we did. Wow! The, the, I see the Roblox, uh, the robot back there. Do you remember all these treasures? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was Roblox. Ro is that what is that not what it's called? No, what? Roblox is a video game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't know where I am. Let's play, man. Yay. I'm interested. Oh. Joint justice. It's the kind of justice I used to execute in college. <laughs> uh, oh man, so this is- I guess I'll do Ross's voice. After all the work- <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> After all the work I put into those levels- It's not even an no, Australian accent. No. Uh, after all the work I put into these level, those levels. What's the- what's Oh the, no! What's the next button? What's the next button? The next button. I was told if I wanted to say Shit. no in Australian, I had to say N A R U. Oh, yeah. Naru? Oh, Naru. Naruto? <laughs> um, Shout out to the Australian lovelies. <laughs> we'll see who the real good boy is now, won't we, Jory? Oh. Jory's in this? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Justice planned. Oh, no, the dinosaurs have been stolen. Yes, and only a thin trail of, uh, I don't want to say. <laughs> Soon I'll have all the coins. Boy, that really looks like Ross. I know. They totally got his, like, devilish grin in there. Oh, he's trying to get the good boy coins. Oh, okay, out of Jory's backpack. <laughs> oh, my God. Now this is a galaxy may, bro may brain move right here. I love this. Whoa. Oh, man. Okay, I guess I'm the POV character. It started out just like every time after our live stream. I, sh I was sure you were gonna do it. It started out every time. <laughs> we had just no, finished a it. session! <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just talk in my normal voice. Okay. <clears throat> we had just finished a session playing Phoenix Wright Facial Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Dan and I were discussing some very important matters. Hey, Whoa, holy shit. So handsome. I look 70s as hell. I love it. So that's when I said, that's not mayonnaise. <laughs> and everyone immediately and violently threw up. <laughs> it was one hell of a graduation party, dude. <laughs> look at my clavicle. They yeah. really... Oh, very defined. You've been working out. And my hair looks like freshly dropped pudding. <laughs> Just... 
cascading over <laughs> my bald head. There is something very like sack like about your hair. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about, Dan? Weren't you listening? I was telling you a very important story about how I graduated from Ninja Party School. <laughs> Ninja Party School? The infamous NPS? By the way, can I tell you, I was on the phone with, uh, uh, like a business call today, and the guy referred to my band as Ninja Sex Turtles. <laughs> which I, uh, really, I really appreciated it. What? Yeah, he, I mean, he just, he just had a brain cramp. He oh, was like, oh, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Right, Got right, because the word ninja in there. <laughs> it's like, uh, Ninja Sex Turtles? And I was like, man, so close. I love it. Dude, you're the one who asked me about it. You said it had something to do with the 10 minute power hour we were doing today. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember now. Do you know what we're doing for the power hour today? No, god damn it. I'm asking you. Look at my fucking. Like, they put in the eyebrow scar and my, like. Just my thousand yard gaze. <laughs> I love this jacket. Where'd you get that jacket? Man? I don't know. I feel like I'm looking right through me. <laughs> you, you, you asked me about my graduation party and said it had something to do with today's episode. No, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> you okay, dude? Your memory is worse than usual today. I fucking adore this. Now what the heck is going on here? <laughs> For anyone who doesn't recognize, that's a Pantsu Hunter reference. <laughs> oh, my bad. Uh, I guess I got distracted. By what? Well, I got the invoice for the bathrooms today. The plumbers just finished fixing the toilets in the north end of the building, and that got me thinking. You mean you asked me to tell you all about one of the longest nights of my life just to get distracted by that? Well, you know how much I like pooping. <laughs> I do like pooping. Yeah, they. this is really relevant to our interests. Yeah, yeah, you do like pooping. Yeah. <laughs> Plumber invoice added to the court record. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> so what are we doing for the power hour? I don't know, man. Oh, well, remember the dunking pool the second night of your graduation party? You mean the whipped cream dunking machine I almost drowned in? <laughs> You don't mean. <gasps> yeah, dude! We're gonna give people a glimpse into what it means to be a ninja sex party dude, TM. You gotta be butt-fucking me, <laughs> dude. Well, that's what you say. Yeah. Really? Well, if I gotta be doing it, Dan. <laughs> this is no time for hilarious jokes, Aaron. We have some tanks to set up. Hell yeah, dude. Let me just grab the backup switch we borrowed so we can put it back where Jory got it. Look at my little hands. Look at my pleased little <laughs> hands. <laughs> yeah. Switch added quarter to the court record. Is that... Is that Ross's switch? It who's, might be. Whose switch is that? Oh, no, that's the office switch. Oh, with the little sticker on the back? Yeah, it's got the Ross sticker on it. Oh, man, good job. What the... F How do they know that? They m must have been visual... Uh, visible in a video. Good thinking. Let's get going, then. <laughs> Unless... The game was made from inside the building. <laughs> actually, guys, we've got a problem. That would actually be the most pathetic move we could do <laughs> if we were found out, like, making our own game about ourselves and be like, whoa, looks like the fans made another <laughs> game. <laughs> like, no, we didn't. I swear we Boy, didn't. Boy, they this. really care a lot about us. <laughs> they must be very invested. <laughs> <laughs> huh. we're, we're so loved. <laughs> Huh? Jory? Jory! <laughs> it's Jory! Oh my god! They got his nervous, worried look down, <laughs> like, pat. Apparently the dinos were missing when we started to set up for the episode! We spent the last ten minutes looking for them! Well, that's not very long. They can't have gone far. That's the thing! We already found them! So then, what's the problem? The problem is, apparently they were found in my backpack! You son of a bitch, Jory! What?! <laughs> Did you take them? Aaron! <laughs> what? It's a legitimate question. Obviously he didn't do it. Look at his face. Is that the face of someone who's guilty? <laughs> <laughs> Jory is a little treasure. I didn't do it! <laughs> yes? No. Why would he come to us then if he's guilty? Tell us what happened, Jory. I wish I could, but everyone wants to hold a trial for this, and it's How starting. How small they made him! <laughs> He's like a child. <laughs> Dude, Jory's pretty tall. Actually. I love it. It's really funny. <laughs> it's starting in just a few minutes. Everyone is calling for my good boy coins to be revoked, even after all the work I put into getting them. <laughs> Man, and I've got nobody in my corner. That sucks, dude. Aaron, don't you get it? Get what? He wants us to defend him in this trial, right, Jory? What? Well, I guess so. I didn't really know what to do, and you guys know I'd never do anything like that. 
That's right, Jory. I'm not really <laughs> sure about all this. Aaron. <laughs> come on, bro. Be a bro and bro this one out for our bro. Rory. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jory, but we don't know anything about your criminal def about criminal defense. We're just idiots who play games while saying stupid things for money on the internet. All right. Wow. <laughs> Fucking the arrow hit a little too close to the bullseye target on that one. <laughs> How are we supposed to help? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I didn't really have a plan or anything. The whole thing is just throwing me for a loop, and I'm kind of grasping here. Sorry, dude, but Aaron's right. We'd probably just screw it up. We're not lawyers. The closest thing we've been to being lawyers is playing that Phoenix Wright TM game. <laughs> and that's just a stupid game that totally exists and isn't changed for copyright purposes. <laughs> Sorry, Jory, but if we were real lawyers, we would help out. Yeah, I understand, guys. Phoenix Wright was real. That's where I learned that a large quantity of milk was scattered in spite of the third. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, someone just slipped a letter under the, under the door. A letter? Who's it from? Say. It's from... For My dad? Is, oh, his dad. From Jory Sr.? Why doesn't he just text? Open it up. What does it say? Uh, it's from my dad, all right, but it's addressed to you two. Us? Like, Dan and I? This is really taking me back. I thought we made that bit up for our episodes. Well, judging from the handwriting and the little hearts dotting the eyes, it's definitely from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see that. Wow, he's right. We should hold on to this. I think it might be important later. Jory Senior's letter has been added to the courtroom. Oh, important <laughs> later. I thought you said I thought you were saying letter, but in a weird way, like it, it could be important letter. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does it say? <clears throat> hello, Grumps. First of all, I hello, Grumps. First of all, I want to thank you all for the hard, hard work wow. you've done taking care of Jory Junior. You got to be kidding me. I've heard what happened to my son with the dinosaurs. What? How? Didn't this happen like ten minutes ago? Ten minute power ago. Don't think about it too hard, Dan. Any, uh, don't think about it too hard, Dan. Anyways, well, I know it looks bad. I know my son is a good boy who only does good things. I know you know that too. So please defend him in court. Show the world he is innocent of such a heinous and despicable crime, and find out who the real culprit is. P.S. Remember, the second most important oh. thing to winning a case is love and trust. Sorry, I. Just knock my microphone over. Oh, yeah, you got that stand like perfectly on the. Yeah. If you just rotate the stand bottom a little bit, it'll that's, not fall. Oh, that's way smarter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Maybe if there wasn't an 800 pound Sonic the Hedgehog play doll 800 here. 800 pounds? It's. You've been working out, right? Yeah. Anyway. I'm 1200 pounds, <laughs> yeah. which is why I can lift it with such ease. Wow, that was beautiful. And the most important thing is payment. I have something for you if you win. Wow, that was beautiful. Wait, there's one more thing. PPS, I hope you two have been continuing to provide my boy with wholesome food as well. And I hope you've been avoiding giving him milk, as he's deathly allergic to it. Have we given Jory milk before? I don't think so. I know we stuffed a lot of Doritos into his mouth. Maybe. Or Sun Chips. Pringles. Well, that was oddly specific. <laughs> PPPS. Wow, a triple postscript. Don't tell Jory this, but I hope he can be on your show again soon. I hope we can be on our show again <laughs> soon. Huh? That's a lot of pee. <laughs> <laughs> He's so nervous. Um. So. Jory, don't worry. Jory, don't worry. <laughs> Jory, don't worry. We're on it, buddy, because we trust you. We'll be in your corner. We got you no matter what. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> really, Aaron? Yep. I have no doubt we'll be clear your name. Good name, Jory. Wow, thanks, guys. I guess I'll head to the, uh, courtroom, then. They turned the power hour room into a makeshift courtroom just for this. So, uh, see you there. You know what's interesting? They've got the power hour room from the new, uh, building and our grumps room from the old building. The power hour room was the old one. It had the two, um... Oh, I guess, yeah. I guess it just looks the same because we specifically rebuilt it to look like or maybe, it did before. Maybe you're right. Maybe we didn't... Did we not put the shelves against the lighting in the center? I can't The, recall. like, weird display? It's been too long for me. I guess we'll... Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect you to change your mind so quickly like that. I guess what Jory Sr. said about trust and love made a difference, huh? Yeah, trust and love and whatever. What do you think Jory Sr. is going to give us when we win? Aaron. 
What? We're helping him, aren't we? That's the whole point, right? You are just un... I'm what? Believable. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. No need to yell. Let's just get ready. I kind of want to look sharp for this. And I just got a new suit that I think will be perfect. You're gonna love it. Boy, whoever made this game really has our speech patterns down. <laughs> this feels very natural reading. Yeah. Agreed. Some undisclosed date, 3.30 p.m., 10 minute power hour courthouse. Oh <laughs> my god. It's Brent! <laughs> oh my god, I love it! <laughs> that is great. I love that he's kind of looking up just like the judge does. Yeah. You wanna be Brent? Yeah, sure. Hey, uh, court is, uh, now in session for the trial of Jory Griffiths. <laughs> the defense is- Oh, wow, they made me very handsome. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, we haven't seen you yet. Yeah. The defense is ready, you're- Oh, wait, Brent? You're the judge here? Yes, being manager of Game Grumps is just my side hustle. <laughs> my main job is presiding as judge over the Attitude City Courthouse. <laughs> After all, what is a judge if not a manager of the law? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> let me turn this around on you. So I will preside over this case for you all today. Well, <clears throat> should I do the Edgeworth voice now that I'm... Oh, now that you're like the prosecutor? Yeah. Well, I suppose that's fine. I mean, Brent is pretty fair in general. Ahem, the prosecution is also ready, your honor. Oh, right. I have a guest prosecutor to help this go over smoothly. He just happened to be visiting this week. Mr. Hanson and Mr. Avidan, so we meet at last. Who exactly is this? He seems familiar, but I can't put my finger on how. Wait, doesn't he kind of look like... T -t trivia Boy? Oh, Trivia <laughs> Boy! <laughs> Wrong! I am the Tutorial Boy! Trivia Boy is my brother! <laughs> and after what you did to him and his reputation for trivia, I will bring you all to justice, Grumps! Oh my god. I love that his post-it note changes to reflect <laughs> his feelings. But first, I will regale you a tale about my tragic past. One gruesome night at 1984. <laughs> I'm just now realizing what we did to poor Jacksepticeye. Yes. By wrapping him in duct tape and yes. putting a bag on his head. It was insane. It was totally nuts. <laughs> and it's not like we cut eye holes out for him, we just glued googly eyes on the bag. <laughs> He's a good sport. One gruesome night in 1984, my di- Yep, yeah, uh-huh, got it. Tragic backstory, tutorial, blah 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 blah. Can we get this show on the road? I don't think he was born in 1984. <laughs> don't you dare skip me! I'm the- Man, if the artist <laughs> drew me yawning- If the artist drew me yawning, that's what you'd be seeing right now. When the heck is this trial gonna start? When the heck is this trial gonna start? <laughs> Whoa, hey, <laughs> it'll begin now. <laughs> the prosecution will now give their opening statements. Of course, your honor! This is easily the stupidest thing I've ever done. At about 12 p.m., the Game Grumps and crew were partaking in a live stream. A recording of the live stream could be added to the court record if you riddle me- Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Press Z to see the court record. Could you get to the point, please? Well, you don't have to be so rude about it. Fine, it's been added to the court record. Sweating through the bag. <laughs> well, it's his skin, Dan. Oh, of course. I like that he has a tie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gotta be professional a in this. little tie around the duct tape. <laughs> now where was I? Oh yes. <laughs> Under the back. <laughs> the live stream. During the live stream, according to the transcript here, the switch they were using suddenly failed. It was at this point that the defendant, Jory Griffiths, volunteered to go get a replacement one. When the live stream was over, the crew went to prepare for a 10 minute power hour episode. However, when they arrived and started preparing, they noticed the dinos were missing! A quick search and a few minutes later, they were suspiciously found in this backpack! Jory's backpack. <laughs> the heck is that weight stain there? <laughs> Maybe Jory took the NSP song, Objects of Desire, as inspiration. Know what I mean? Unfortunately, we all know what you mean, Mr. Sexbang! Yeah, that he fucked the backpack. That's Mr. <laughs> business to you, sir. <laughs> yes, quite. Indeed. As I was saying, the missing dinos, while quickly found, put a big delay on setting up for the power hour. I really hope Jack is watching this and just cringing at my casual Jacksepticeye impression. I honestly think it's better than he might have had any reason to suspect it would be. <laughs> yeah, at least it's not Ross's. It's like, the missing dinos, <laughs> well, quickly found! Yeah. Right. I think he got off easy, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> 
I have been informed that recording cannot begin without them. As such, they are critical pieces of evidence. Stolen dinos out of the court. While Mr. Griffiths' backpack is somewhat unique, the prosecution deemed it necessary to prove its owner's identity. In the very same pocket in which the dinos were found, we discovered some good boy coins! GBC, baby. All day. These were the- <laughs> All day, every day, man. Hey, you gotta- you gotta flick- they don't stack. No, they don't. They sure don't. It's a real bummer. These were the very same coins Jory was polishing during the live stream. This was confirmed by other members of the Grump team present at the time the dinos were discovered. This clearly suggests the perpetrator is the defendant! I am here to prove beyond any doubt that Jory Griffiths stole the dinosaurs in order to sabotage the 10 minute power hour! Hmm, yes, that seems to be a very solid opening statement. You may uh, call your first witness, Mr. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Your Honor! I would now like to call said defendant Jory Griffiths to the stand. So angry. Wait, you can't do that. It violates the Fifth Amendment. Yeah, wait. Is this even a real courthouse? Keep your pants on! I make up the rules in this courthouse. I will allow the testifying of the defendant. It needs more- it needs more Brent metaphors. That's what it really needs. Such as? Just Brent making metaphors about like, you know, like, Oh, we gotta kick the tires here, and yeah. you know, like that kind of shit. Yeah, just, uh, gonna sniff the butt. <laughs> he says that all the time, yeah. and I'm like, please stop saying that. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, mean, just, you know, get, get, get sniff each other's butts and... Yeah, just get to know each other. <laughs> Witness, state your... I'm sorry, please forgive me. Jory, what the heck? Ah, oh, jeez. Just take a deep breath and answer the questions. I, I, I do like... Because Jory's the reason I say what the heck. And what the hey. Yep. Um, because he's a clean boy who doesn't swear. Right. <laughs> Does he never swear? No, I mean he. Of course he swears, but I, I feel like I've never heard him swear. <laughs> but he always uses like alternatives. Yeah, what the H yeah. is is my personal favorite. <laughs> oh, okay. This is gonna be rough. I can already tell. Ow! Witness! <laughs> ah! I have questions about the time before the incident, and you will answer. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay. When the console broke, you yourself were the first volunteer to go get a backup console, were you not? Well, it's sort of my job to help with technical issues, but... So you admit that you jumped on the opportunity to be the one to do the grunt work for the grumps? How suspicious. Surely there were other, less busy people who could have gotten it, but you didn't hesitate! He called him sussy. <laughs> Is he a sussy bucket? You know what that leads to. <laughs> Bockage. Sus <laughs> Bockage. Sussy Bockage. <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't, but again, it's part of my job. By the way, I, the first time I said Sussy Baka as a joke on the show, people loved it, thought it was so funny. Like, oh, listen, Dad's using new terminology. And uh, the second time I said it on, as a joke on the show, people fucking hated it. What, really? <laughs> yeah, okay, because... They, they started thinking like, oh god, is he really trying to say this like a thing that he, that he can say? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I'm not, I assure you. But it's fucking hysterical. It's so funny. It's people, so funny. People drew fan art of it. Sussy, me saying sussy bonk? Yeah, because it's hilarious. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Fucking, it made me lose my mind when you said it. <laughs> it cracks me up. By the way, just so everybody knows, J Jory was the, the narrative designer on Dream Daddy, and he was working on another game. <laughs> like, after that. So, he's not really, like, the technical guy. Yeah, I, d I mean, the fact that they included Jory in this game at all is pretty amazing. I, I have to say, like, Jory, and Brent for that matter, like, are, are, are fairly... I don't think they'll be upset if I say they're fairly deep cuts, <laughs> you yeah. know? But, like, not- not- your- your casual grump watcher may not know who they are, so... Yes. I mean, all- all the more, uh... Applause to the people who did this for their attention to detail. Yeah, I just want to give Jory more credit than he's our technical guy. Yes. Like, occasionally, yeah, he's very smart about computers and programming, so occasionally he'll help us with that kind of stuff. Um, but for the most part, his job is making games, yeah. so that's the... Just to give you a little rundown on Jory. And also being a sweet boy! Yeah. Oh, well, sir, he did- he did get a lot of good boy coins. Yes, that's right, he has the most good boy coins still to this- to, to date. Piece of shit. Yikes! <laughs> Dang, this guy is intense. Suspicious behavior indeed! Especially since, according to the live stream recording here, you were busy cleaning your good boy coins! <laughs> is this correct? Dude, what do his coins have to do with this? And what's with this guilt tripping over being helpful? 
You should say something, Aaron. Hmm. What am I wearing around my neck? Uh. I don't. I mean, obviously, it's the it's the it's the sex bang. It's like a Danny sex bang medallion, but I don't know what the green thing hanging off the end is. Yeah. What is the, what is the green thing? We'll have to we'll have to ask them about that. Is it that. pooping? I don't think so, Aaron. Though that is your answer for everything. It's probably pooping. Okay. I'm gonna object. You, you, we not Gucci? <laughs> My client's behavior during the live stream isn't suspicious in the least. Jory is a great employee who works hard for the team. The prosecution is twisting the truth here, Your Honor. Hmm. Objection sustained. Mr. Boy, you will refrain from flowery language when questioning your witness. Er, yes, Your Honor. The spirit of justice took hold of me and I got carried away. Also, please don't slam your head onto the desk again. It's making everyone nervous. Whoops. Yeah, I knew it. Never! It's my only way of objecting! You can't be serious. Yeah, hey, his arms are tied down. Objection sustained, uh, I'll allow it. Your Honor, that kind of behavior isn't appropriate in this courtroom. Perhaps, but I get to make the call. And it's amusing to watch him do it. <laughs> Very amusing. <laughs> so like a high-pitched Obama impression? I get to watch him do it. Yeah. I was president, and uh, now I'm not. I always have thought that Brent and Obama are almost interchangeable people. <laughs> the prosecution may continue with the witness's testimony. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> so, you were cleaning your coins during the live stream, which we have on record. When you were asked to go get a replacement switch, what did you do with those coins? Well, since I had just finished polishing them, I decided to put them away in my backpack. And leave it in the 10 minute power hour recording room since I knew I had to do setup for that right after. <laughs> Jory doesn't do setup for the power hour, it's fine. Not at all, but I mean, it's just as well. He's appeared on power hours before yes, he just has. just cuz he's he loves he loves a good bit. Yeah. That is a good that is that is something to say about Jory. Jory loves a good bit. No question. Very committed to the bit. Which is why he's willing to sit under a table and have a send uh pancake after pokemon shaped pancake at him. <laughs> yes. While he pretends to be a robot. <laughs> Would those coins happen to be these? Bend coins out of the court record. Oh crap! Bent coins. Yeah. You can't bend a good boy coin. Those things are sturdy as fuck. Yeah, they're solid steel. We found our first loophole. <laughs> uh, uh. As stated before, these coins were found in the same pocket as the dinosaurs, and they fit the description of the coins the witness just gave. What more proof do you need? Confess to your crimes, Jory. I, er, uh, oh man, yeah, those are my coins, but, but that, is that a confession? I Look how high his mouth is. <laughs> He's so pleased. <laughs> is that a confession I hear? You admit your guilt? The prosecution is hectoring the witness. <laughs> Quit hectoring. <laughs> Stop hectoring me. The coins being in the pocket with the dinos doesn't directly prove he put them both there. What? Just look at the witness. His sweatiness and nervous behavior is that of a criminal! What the defense says holds up. So I will sustain their objection. Oh! <laughs> Very well. But don't think you're out of the hot water yet! You said you were doing setup for something right after the live stream! Please tell the court what that something was going to be. Hmm. Well, you see, we were planning on doing the 10 minute power hour right after the live stream. And I had to help set up since we were planning on doing something different. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And what was that something that was so different? Well, to put it simply, we were going to do a dunk tank contest. Oh my god, that's a great idea. But instead of water, it was going to be strawberries and cream. Oh, that's an even better idea. Something about ninja party school? I don't know. It, it was Dan and Aaron's idea. But I wasn't really looking forward to being dunked in cream. Don't say that. You're gonna get yourself into more trouble. <laughs> and so you decided to sabotage the episode's production. So you wouldn't have to suffer through such a menial and humiliating task. I see right through you, Jory Griffiths! <laughs> no, no, I would never... Whoosh. Save your lies! <laughs> this is a courtroom of truth! <laughs> wow, you're really crushing that. Trivia Boy impersonation. <laughs> there is no proof that Jory is lying. You're simply pushing a false narrative to make my client look bad. Oh, -ho! <laughs> I love this like crust yeah, head. It's thing. so funny. I assure you, this is no bravado. 
We have true motivation. And I love that the post-it note moves when he talks. <laughs> yeah. We have evidence that connects Jory to the crime, and we have a witness to Jory's crime. <gasps> Whoa. That will uh, be enough from the jury. You say you have a witness to the crime itself? That is correct, Your Honor. I have simply been building my case up to this point. Members of the court, you see that Jory knows he is guilty, and his behavior is proof of that. But now you will see that with my next witness, there could be no doubt of Mr. Griffiths' guilt. And we'll meet that witness next time I game Oh rooms. my god, this is wonderful. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I'm definitely getting a text from Brent being like, I don't sound like that. <laughs> hey, uh, so that impression of me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what he'll say. But no, Brent, I know you don't sound like that. I'm just garbage at impressions, but there's no one else here to do the show. <laughs> Nine years! Happy birthday, Aaron! Nine years, man. Nine years, dude. That's unbelievable. Yeah. You only get so many chunks in nine years in your life. Well, you know, when you put it that way, it sounds really sad. No, it just- it's an incredible. It's- what is that, a third of your life? Almost? A little bit less. It's 34? 34, yeah. Nine times three is 27. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like a third of your waking life, it's because- like, It's like a fourth of my life, almost. Yeah, you don't really- Oh, um, God. Yeah, you don't really pay attention to the first five years. You know, actually, when I think of that, it's like almost like under a fourth of my life, mm -hmm. or I guess a over a fourth, over a fourth. It is over. Yeah. Um. Is it over? A f yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Almost a third is more than a fourth. Okay, got it. Yeah. The point is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that actually is kind of cool, because I'm like, oh, Grumps, and then there's like three more chunks of the time that Grumps has been around of my life. Oh, yeah. And it's like, that's a lot of life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's, I mean, it's not, every now and then, I'll get the, like, Jesus, you're old comment from people, and it's like, nah, dude, like, pretty happy about this. I, it's, A, it beats the alternative. And B, like... What, being dead? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My only... When you're born in 1979, your only choices right now are be 42 or dead. <laughs> uh, and it's... I don't know, man. Like, I just, uh... I'm very grateful that I made it this far. You know, there, there's... There's times in your life where, like, things get a little hectic and you're, like... I don't know if you've ever had a, an NDE, a, a near-death experience, but, like... I remember having one where I thought, like, man, I would give anything to get to 40. And, uh... Wow. Yeah, so now that I am, I'm, like, pretty goddamn grateful. I feel like maybe the... When I had weed that first time, maybe, oh, yeah. maybe like, the chemicals of NDE were being released, because that was, like, really traumatic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. but... No, I've never had an actual NDE. You, are you saying you executed some joint justice on yourself? Ah! <laughs> It was inedible, but still. Okay, but still. Uh, join us next time! Okay, sorry. Goodbye! Bye! Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Hello! Uh, so, yes, we are, uh, deeply ensconced in this trial. I guess we just had a last time on Game Grum, so you kind of know what's going on. Oh, yeah. So That's let's right. continue. Let's continue um, the trial. Oh, yeah, so now the, the, the next witness will be no doubt of Mr. Griffiths' guilt. Here we go. Yes, that's right. I call to the stand a witness to the crime! Ross O'Donovan! Oh, Ross. Make, we should have... If I'd known we were doing this and that he was in it, we we should have invited him down to the office. Dude, part of me kind of wishes we got, like, everybody to do their own yeah, voices, yeah. you know? Yeah, kind of be amazing. Ross! They roped you into this as well? Why don't you do Ross? I don't... How does Ross talk? He's just kind of normal, but, like, with yeah. a very, very, very... Like, 2% Australian accent at this point. Yeah, it looked important, you know? <laughs> Plus, I could see the- I could use the extra money! Mr. O'Donovan- Oh my god, I can't do all these voices. Mr. O'Donovan, being a witness isn't a paying job. Not that anyone here is getting paid anyway! I see. <laughs> Except if you could count being paid in JUSTICE! <laughs> Ahem. Witness, please state your name and occupation for the court. Kangaroo Court, if I ever saw one. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Nothing, Your Honor. I'm Ross O'Donovan, local animator, Mario <laughs> Maker enthusiast, apparent sadist, and friend to all here. Some friend testifying against Jory, treating him like a criminal. 
<laughs> what do you mean? Even we don't know if Jory is innocent. Aaron, have you learned nothing from the Phoenix Wright trademark playthrough? That a gavel lubed properly has many uses? No. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> the Galef in that game sure was creative. Did we say that? Did we? It, or is Galef just accepted terminology among Phoenix Wright fans? <laughs> I love Galef. But more importantly, you should go into every case with confidence that your client is innocent. We don't know if he's guilty, but if his own attorney doesn't believe him, why should the rest of the court? Also, I want to be clear, you don't have to be gay to love a lubed up gavel up your butt. Anyway, you're right, we're here to defend <laughs> our friends. I love that your character slapped his hands down <laughs> just as you said that, like, yeah. hell yes! <laughs> so we should at least assume we're making the right call. Amen, brother! Hey, hey man, doesn't matter, the, the, the male prostate can be massaged to any but- Also, knowing how these things go, the defendant is always innocent. Usually, anyway. <laughs> if the uh, defense is done sucking each other's toes, <laughs> may we begin with Mr. O'Donovan's testimony? All right, you got a Brent metaphor in there. I like that. Yep, that was good. Why does he act like he doesn't know anyone here? We're ready, Your Honor. All right, the witness may begin his testimony. Oh boy, here we go. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Witness testimony. I was animating by myself over in my room at the office in Perth. But then, I saw someone taking the dinos. <laughs> it was Jory. He was on the 10 minute power hour set just taking the dinos. Now that I know they were stolen, that means the culprit must be Jory. Oh! Wow, real simple testimony there. Yeah, seriously. Straightforward. Fucking Jory did it. Testimony <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah. A, uh, remarkably solid testimony here. Great witness, Mr. Boy. Of course, Your Honor! You can only expect the best from me! Dude, that testimony was incredible. Stupendous. Amazing. All right, already. You can stop jerking him off now. I get it. <laughs> There's absolutely no way we can get Jory off now. Phrasing, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I just said jerking him off, like, two <laughs> seconds ago. But we have to try, don't we? I mean, no matter how bulletproof that testimony may seem, we have to take the shot, right? <laughs> You're right, Dan. But what the heck should I do next? But what the heck should I do next? Take the shot! <laughs> I don't know, dude. Just look for things in his testimony that don't add up. Mm. He totally has to have messed up in there somewhere. I'm sure if we keep asking questions, we'll get some information out of him. All right, let's do it then. Is the uh, defense ready for the uh, cross-examination? Yes, your honor. Good, then you may begin. I'm sure Brent would really love if I called him your honor, but oh. I'm never gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, start with your majesty and work your way down. <laughs> oh God, I gotta cross-examine him, okay. He looks like a very specific time in um, video game characters, doesn't he? Like with that pixelation. Like, very, like, 1993, 1994 PC, mm. kind of like, Space Quest V. Yeah. Like that era. Well, he was drawn, he's drawn over the, like, the first, do you remember the first trial of Phoenix Wright? Where this is the guy, and he's, he is in this pose, and he's like, Oh, he didn't do it, oh, it was Oh, me. yeah. And then, he was really easy to see through. It's, he's drawn over that. Wow. And they just gave him a little R helmet. Oops. Yeah. But then, I saw someone taking the dinos. It was Jory. He was on the 10 minute power hour set taking the dinos. All right, how do I object? Yeah. <laughs> you said Jory, you said you saw Jory in the 10 minute power hour room, correct? I think they put your voice in the hold it. Was screen. it? I th it sounded like you. Yes. Yes, that's correct. Yet you also say you were in your office animating. Seems very odd to me. How could you see anyone while you were focused on your work? Are you saying that my witness is a liar? I'm sure Ross has a very reasonable explanation for all this. He ought to have a real good reason for this. That's right. The reason I was able to see Jory was because I needed to poop. Yeah. Um, excuse me? <laughs> God damn it, Ross. <laughs> What does you needing to poop have to do with seeing Jory? Well, well, you see, I had to go out to use the bathroom, which is how I saw Jory. Uh-huh. Your Honor, I believe this needs to be added to the witness's testimony. Agreed. Witness, add your poop story to your testimony, please. 
Uh, yes. Why, of course, Your Honor. Let me go over it again. Uh, okay. Way to go, big cat. Let's see how this changes things. It's not the power hour filming room isn't on the way to the bathroom in the old office. Do, do you think that matters, Aaron? <laughs> do you think people might be able to suspend their disbelief? Well, no, I mean, that he's clearly lying. Oh. So I saw Jory walk by my office. Okay. But I suddenly had to use the bathroom right away. Right. I ran to use the nearby bathroom on my way back. I saw Jory stashing the dinos. There is no nearby bathroom. What were you doing by the office toilet, Ross? Well, obviously I just finished taking a massive doomp. <laughs> but because that's the reason the toilet's there. They flush the other way here. <laughs> of course, stupid question, I'm gonna I guess. I'm going to say counterclockwise, but maybe that's wrong. Hold on, Aaron. Something about that doesn't seem right, but I don't know. Maybe we should look at the evidence, see if there's something about this. Oh. I didn't think oh, any of it. That's why I forgot to mention it earlier. How do I look at the evidence? There's a button for it. Push a button. Okay. So, so I saw so. Jory walk by my office. But I suddenly had to use the bathroom right away. Yeah. Ran to use the nearby bathroom on my way back. I saw Jory stashing the diners away. Okay. I didn't think of any anything of it. That's why I forgot to mention it earlier. Okay. So I saw Jory. Oh, oh, it's just looping. Yes. Um. Okay. I said I had to use the bathroom. Okay, nearby bathroom. That's. That is it. you. Yeah. It is. I think so. It doesn't sound like me. Hold it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Just finished taking a massive dump. And then Dan. Mm-hmm. See if there's something about this. Yes, there is. Plumber invoice. Ah, uh, they were repairing the toilets. Present. Whoops. Whoops. Fuck. He's the nearby bathroom. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Not so fast, Jafar! <laughs> I mean, Ross. <laughs> Are you absolutely certain that you had just used the office toilet? Of course I am. Shit! You alright over there? Yeah. Then why does this plumbing invoice state very clearly that the toilets were undergoing maintenance at that time? W what's that now? I have an invoice from the plumbers who were working on that bathroom earlier today. They had just finished working on that very bathroom when we found out about Jory being accused. That, that means you couldn't have possibly been using that bathroom. And you couldn't have seen Jory. <laughs> Uh, order in the, uh, court? <laughs> Witness, what do you have to say about this? I, uh, uh, well, you see, the thing is... OBJECTION! I think it's time to reveal the truth, Ross! What's that you say? Oh, I do not like where this is going. <laughs> the, uh, truth? Remember? You told me all about it! How you wanted to keep it a surprise! The Mario Maker level you were working on! I think you need to come clean. Uh, I guess you're right. Guess I can't hide it any longer. What the- what the hell are you even talking about? <laughs> well, the truth is, I wasn't animating anything at all. Whoa. I was actually working on a secret level for you guys. Whoa. What? I know. I shouldn't have lied about it. But I wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> this changes things quite a bit, you know? Tutorial boy, I think we need to redo your witness testimony again in the light of this new information. Yes, of course, your honor! What? Again? I know it's unprofessional, but Ross tends to have good intentions. Oh, does he? That's nice. Therefore, I'm willing to give him another chance. Besides, how could I say no to that face? <laughs> Wimpa! <laughs> Lord, spare me this crap. This time, Ross, I need the honest truth from you. You may begin your testimony. Oh boy, here we go. Mm-hmm. It's mm -hmm. on, baby. All right. I guess he got me. I did lie about what I was doing. I was actually making a special Mario Maker level for you guys. You've always been good sports about my troll levels, so I wanted to make you a nice one for a change. Okay. I was working on it, thinking about what to make next, when I saw Jory walk by my office. Uh, I already don't believe this shit. He wanted to make a nice level? Yeah, no. 
Objection! <laughs> You're an asshole! <laughs> I felt it was a good time to take a break, so I went to see what he was up to. That's when I saw it. He had taken the dinos and stuffed them into his backpack. <laughs> big pick. Big pick. Oh, it's big pick. Hmm, so you, uh, whoa, hey, you were in your office working on a Mario Maker level but needed a break? That's when you saw Jory, followed him, and saw the dinosaurs being taken. That seems, uh, reasonable to me. Without a doubt, Your Honor, that is how it really happened. I apologize for not being forthwith about that at the beginning, but you see, we, er, uh, I mean my witness, wanted to keep it a surprise. I hope the defense is happy with themselves for ruining Ross's <laughs> great gesture. <laughs> Oh boy. What do you think, Dan? Yeah. I can't really see any holes in this claim. Damn. Wait. I've got an idea. What is it? I'll just BS my way through by questioning everything he said. Oh wow, they do have you down to a T. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Do you really think that'll work? Who knows? I mean, it's worked for everything else I've ever done. <laughs> if you say so. Wait, what do you mean every- <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> If the, uh, defense would like to cross-examine now? You bet your sweet bippy I would, your honor. I've got some questions that need answering. Very well. The defense may begin their cross-examination. Aw, oh, hell, but fuck yeah. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I guess he got me. I did lie about what I was doing. Okay. I, okay, I'll, I'll say it when it happens. I was actually making a special Mario Maker level for you guys. Okay. You've always been good sports about my troll levels. We haven't. So I wanted to make you a nice one for a change. Yeah. He wouldn't. I was working on it, thinking about what to make next, when I saw Jory walk by my office. Okay. I think this is the one. Because... Ross didn't have an office where people could just walk by? Well, no. Um... Because the switch was found elsewhere, right? Was it? This was- this is Ross's switch? It's a borrowed switch. I'm just gonna try it. Okay. Wham bam bazam! That's the wrong answer, ma'am! Oh, cool, thanks. Mm, excellent. Shit. I think you should try a different answer, Aaron. Okay. Gee, you think so, Dan? Yes. Yes, I do, Aaron. I do. Yeah, I guess so. I felt it was a good time to take a break, so I went to see what he was up to. Okay. That's when I saw it. He had taken the dinos and stuffed them into his big pick. I guess he got okay. me. Okay. Okay. Um... Thinking about what to make it- okay, let me hold it. So you were making a level when you saw Jory. Exactly how are you making it? I was using my Switch. Duh, like, how else could I be making it? That's the best question you could come up with! Laughable! Jeez, this guy's so annoying. Well, as a matter of fact, it is the best question. And it's the only question I need to see your lies for what they are. What? 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 <laughs> There's no possible way you could have been using your switch when you said you were. <laughs> oh, there's people in the engineering room that yes. are looking in. I yes. get it. That's funny. And they built a second engineering room for the purposes of <laughs> yes. keeping things balanced. Uh, order. I will have order in this court. You say that he could not have been using a switch as he claims? That's correct, your honor. Impossible! There's no way you could prove such a thing! I can prove it. With this. <laughs> the switch. Ah! A Nintendo Switch?! That's right. Remember how you told everyone that Jory went to go get us a switch when ours broke? Well, it just so happens that I have this switch. Right here! Gah! <laughs> <laughs> no! That can't be! Wait a second! How does that help you? <laughs> does the uh, prosecution have an uh, objection? Oh, right! My mistake! Uh, th this is a complete waste of time, Your Honor! Not only is there no proof that Switch belongs to Ross, but there's no proof this is even the Switch story brought back! Mm, if you wouldn't interrupt, I'd show you all the proof you need. Your Honor, if I may explain. Objection overruled. The defense will proceed. I want to hear their explanation on this new piece of evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. 
Look closely on the back of this particular switch. You'll see that on the back there is clearly a Slimantha sticker on it. <laughs> In case you don't know, Slimantha is an original character made by Ross himself. Not only that, but these stickers aren't yet available to the public. Meaning only Ross himself could have them! Wow, dude, how did you even know about that? Because I love my friend Ross! Oh. Easy, I've been helping produce merch for Ross, isn't As that I right? As I ensure he'll go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I haven't, but that's fine. Well, I... That's what I thought. Since this is clearly Ross's switch, his claim that he was making levels earlier today is a bunch of garbage! Damn, dude. Your deduction skills are incredible today. Don't you know, Dan? I'm the video game boy. I'm the one who's winning this case! <laughs> oh my god. I love it. <laughs> Preposterous! It's too early to celebrate! That simply isn't enough proof on its own! Anyone could have put those stickers on their Switch, not just Ross! Your Honor! This is baseless conjecture! Well, I do happen to recognize that Switch as Ross's, being that I work with him every day. And being the manager, I know that these stickers aren't available to anyone but the Grumps. Grump! <laughs> That being said, while I'm certain this switch does belong to Ross, I can't simply take the defense at their word. I need further proof that this was indeed the switch Jory obtained for the live stream. Mr. Hansen, Mr. Abaddon, do you think you can prove that- provide that proof? Pro um. proof provide that proof? <laughs> Damn, I have no idea, dude. How can we prove that? Don't worry, Dan. I've got this. And you know when I say I got it, I mean I got it. Do you, do you, I don't know, man, are you sure? Usually when you're this confident, you tend to blow it immediately. Don't worry, Dan, check this shit out. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> show show the tits! tits. Uh, last game played, I guess? Okay. No, it was probably not Mario Maker, or it is Mario Maker. Or, ah. I don't know, whatever, the point is. If you've ever owned a Switch, you'd know that the last game played always sits on the far left-hand side of the screen. That way, you have quick and easy access to the game you were most recently playing. That's very true. I've noticed it on my own Switch. Brent, you don't have a Switch. <laughs> exactly. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> and what do we see when we load Ross's Switch to the home screen? Well... If the prosecution's claim that Ross was making a Mario Maker level with his Switch is true, then Mario Maker would be the game you see on the left-hand side of the screen. But if you'd take a look at Ross's Switch, Your Honor, I'm willing to bet that is not the game you'll find. Your Honor, would you please tell this court what game is actually there? <laughs> yes, let me see. Phoenix Wright, Facial Attorney TM! <laughs> Absurd! That's right. If Ross was truly making a Mario Maker level, it would be Mario Maker there. That means the fact that Phoenix Wright is there was because it was the game we were playing on our live stream. Look how handsome Ross looks. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Aru, no, Aru, ahara. Whoa. Oh, damn. <laughs> Ow, what? <laughs> you guys. Gah. You're all lying. You just want to protect Jory. Does he have a carton of milk? Yes, he does. <laughs> milk, please. He's the culprit, I tell you. I saw him. He's the only one who could have taken it. Oh, that's what that white was left behind on the on the, uh... the crime scene. It was his milk. <laughs> the only one lying here is you, Ross. So tell us the truth. What really happened? Objection! It's just as the witness said, there's no proof that any of these claims are true. There's no conclusive evidence that the switch they used was actually Ross's. I request that last bit of evidence be stricken from the record. The only hard evidence we have shows the dinosaurs on Jory's backpack. Who else but him would have done it? Yeah, man. I'm the one looking out for you guys here. I've done nothing wrong. Other than eating an entire blooming onion at Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> I was just mistaken about a few things. That's no way to treat one of your oldest friends. Hmm, the prosecution does bring up a point. Under these circumstances, I cannot refute what the prosecution says. Objection sustained. Um, Your Honor, we've just put the witness's credibility in the furnace. We can't rely on what he said when many things were just now proven to have glaring contradictions. I 
do not talk like that. <laughs> I am not that smart. Be that as it may, unless the defense has evidence of someone else more likely to have committed the crime than Jory, I have no choice but to overrule your objection. Damn. How could I let that slip through my fingers? Wait, Aaron. It's not over yet. What do you mean? All we have to do is show that someone else could have done it, right? Well, there were only two people who weren't with us during the live stream today. One was Jory, and the other... You're right, Dan. Your Honor, there is one other person who could have done the deed. What?! Oh, fuck, no! I mean, who? <laughs> Another person? And who could that be? Please point out exactly who you are accusing. Um... <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> he... Ross. Yeah. Is there, like, <laughs> my prized possession? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Jory Sr.? <laughs> I, I guess he would just use his switch, right? Uh... To represent him? I don't know. Um... I don't know. Let's just, uh... Brr, 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 brr. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, profiles. Oh, oh got it. Okay. okay. Uh, it's Ross. Why, the only other person who wasn't at the live stream other than Jory... Rosso did it, Vin. <laughs> oh, we're on the same side. Yeah, you're you're like you're like the Mia to me. Yeah. Okay. I was like, how are we? I thought we were facing opposite directions, but I guess it's just camera angles. It's it's as if like I'm turning over, looking at you. Yeah. 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 Uh, order in this. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, order in this courtroom. Mm, that's a bold accusation you've raised, Aaron, as well as a terrible pun on Ross's name. But how could this be true? Didn't Ross find them in the first place? We saw him find them in Jory's backpack. Why would Ross fi find them himself if he was the one who stole them? The answer to that is simple, Your Honor. It's because he didn't steal them! The defense is simply grasping at straws. They know Jory is guilty, so they're throwing out accusations to confuse the jury! Jury? Jory? That's weird. How dare you sully the name of justice by proposing this preposterous position! Um, we have no decisive evidence that it was either Jory or Ross, Your Honor. All we have is eyewitness accounts from someone who himself could have been the culprit. Well, regardless of that fact, I need proof or evidence that suggests Ross was the culprit. Ha! Good luck proving that video game, boy! I'd like to see you try! <laughs> I'll do better than that, because I'm the one who wins! Not that joke again. Hell yeah, dude. Check this shit out. Oh, fuck. Wait, let, let me see these rundowns. Okay. <laughs> Maybe 30? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Jory, previous yeah. job beat piss machine. Yep, excellent. The Happy Gamer was known as that. Yep. Half That's right. Gamer's duo, definitely the same height as Dan. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Wow, I am so handsome in this shot. You look great. Damn, thank you. <laughs> I fucking love this. His eyes are all crooked and Me shit. Me too. It's so, so funny. Yeah, also really loves milk for some reason. Yes. I mean, that does, that does come into play here. Um, okay. So what, what were we doing? Uh, oh, oh, I needed to present evidence that was, I think it's the, the coins. Okay. These are the good boy coins found inside the backpack. Notice how they're bent and scuffed now? Don't you realize what that means? That were cheap bastards making coins out of cardboard? Well, no, they're made out of fucking... Uh, I don't know what they're made out of, actually. Yeah, the stuff that we couldn't cre recreate. <laughs> yeah. I second that notion! Now, that was uncalled. I mean, just, uh, use some quarters and paint them up. Clearly we don't care about being fancy. Wow. Right. Oh, okay. Come right out and say it. <laughs> okay, I get it. I'll get real coins after this. Regardless. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a fancy bitch. <laughs> hey, man, I printed those coins. For, for Brent. They're high quality. They just don't stack. Regardless, Jory would never let his coins be ruined like this. There is no way he would have stuffed the dinosaur so carelessly with those coins there. Gah. Ridiculous! I don't believe a word of that! There's no way someone would be so careful around such pointless coins! Um, pointless? That might be true for most people, but not our Jory. We've already heard evidence that proves Jory cared about those coins, and I've got it right here. Uh... 
Uh, uh, the, 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 the letter from Jory Senior? Yes. Right? Yes. Oh, no, no. On the live stream, he said that he loved the coins. Oh. Recall Jory's testimony, how he was noted to be taking care of those coins carefully. Now I ask the court to consider this. Why would Jory take such care of his coins, only to trash them in his backpack minutes later? The answer is simple! My arm is chopped off! <laughs> he didn't pull the dinos in there at all! Put the dinos in there! Oof! Arg! Hmm. That makes a lot of sense. I personally have seen Jory care for those coins like they were his children. I'm not sure how you polish cardboard, but regardless, Jory's uh, care of those coins cannot be denied. Does the prosecution have anything to say about this? Well, um... Yeah, let's see you sneak your way out of this one, dog. Yes! There is an explanation! Come on, dude. Clearly my witness made an error. The dinos were simply found in a different part of the backpack. When he found them, Mr. O'Donovan simply was so shocked that Joey would do such a thing that he mistook which pocket they were found in. Oh yeah, I remember now. I looked in the front pocket first and I saw the coins. <laughs> I realized that there was no room, so I checked the side pocket and that's where I found the dinos. That's fucking bullshit, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what he said in his testimony. Hmm, that does seem like a reach. There were a lot of people at the time. Someone must have seen where the dinosaurs were found at the- oh, yeah. Well, why don't we ask them? Esteemed court members who were present when Ross found the dinos, did any of you see which part of the backpack they were found in? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, whoa, oh, whoa, hey, order, <laughs> order, I say. I think Brent just likes hitting that gavel and yelling. It is as I said, Your Honor. Ross simply mistook which pocket he found them in. The coins were damaged at some point between Jory placing them inside the backpack and the dinos being found. Whoa, hey, I'm drunk with power. Hey, <laughs> but Brent would definitely like that. Is definitely a Brent move. If he got like a gavel, he'd be like, I, oh. I just like hitting the gavel. Yeah, just like it. Feels good. <laughs> Most likely, Ross bent them while searching for the dinos Jory had put in his backpack. Hmm, I can see that happening certainly. And since there's nobody here that can refute this point, I have to side with the prosecution. Uh, are you freaking kidding me? However, I would like the witness to revise his testimony to reflect this change. Let me be clear, this is the last time I will allow this. Such a wise judgment, your honor. <laughs> your years of judicial experience shine brightly today. And may I say, what a glorious cock you have. <laughs> Like, so large! Just like an apple being held in the firm grip of a baby's arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're so wise and smart, Brent. Uh, I mean, your honor. This is it, then. I have to get him here. For Jory. You got this, dude. We can't give up now. Oh, boy. Damn. Witness testimony, motherfucker. Oh man, so I guess we gotta start the testimony next time on Game Grumps! Oh <laughs> my god! Oh! Bo! Whoa, whoa! Oh my god. Okay. We'll see you next time. Yeah, that could be the conclusion, right? It, oh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. Oh, baby. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hi! We, uh, took a little break from this because there was the- the bug I mentioned at the beginning happened. Mm hmm So, uh, we told the creators of this game and- and very kindly they- Immediately fixed it. Awesome turnaround. Like like in like ten hours or something. Champions. So uh, now we're we're back to where we were at the end of the last episode. Um, there was a lot of back and forth with what was happening with the backpack, so I kind of lost the trail since last week. <laughs> uh, I think the dinos were found in the backpack, and the bent coins were there too, which proved that Ross had tampered with them. I think. Anyway, we'll find out. It'll come right back to us, yeah, I'm sure. on this one. So you- you were Ross, by All right. the way. Yeah, so, after I heard the dinos went missing, I remembered that I saw Jory go back into the recording space. <laughs> so I went back there to search his backpack for the dinos. Oh. I first searched the front pocket, where I saw the coins in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can't tell if this is like a better or worse Australian accent than you were doing last time. It's actually... It, it's worse in that it's better. <laughs> yeah. 
Or no, it's better in that it's worse. Yeah, exactly. Yes. But when I saw they weren't there, I, uh, turned the backpack to check the side pocket. Yeah. Oh. When I opened up the left side pocket, that's where I found the dinosaurs. Yes. That's exactly how it happened. Exactly. Exactly. You well, be like New Zealander. I don't want to, yeah, be careful. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, hey, <laughs> so you searched the backpack in more than one place and found the dinos. Yes. All right, I'll accept this. <laughs> Heron, you may cross-examine the witness now. Oh, hell yeah, I'm gonna cross-examine the shit out of this witness. Man, what do we do now? Oh, I forgot you gave yourself that voice. Well, it's Edgeworth, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure, but there's something fishy about this whole thing, and I'm gonna change his tune, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Glad you're bringing your A-game, Aaron. Thank you. I'm always- I always bring my A-game. It's either A-plus or A. Never A-minus. Alright. Yeah, so after I heard the dinos went missing, I remembered that I saw Jory earlier. Uh-huh. So I went back there to search his backpack for the dinos. Right. I first searched the front pocket where I saw the coins in the bag. Mm-hmm. But when I saw they weren't in there, I turned the backpack to check the side pocket. Mm. Mm. When I opened up the left side pocket, that's where I found the dinosaurs. No, it's not. Okay. Can you prove you found the dinos in the left side pocket? Well, no, but I don't think you can prove that I didn't. <laughs> I'd like to remind the court that the burden of proof rests in the hands of the defense. Ross is a witness, not the accused, after all. I forgot what a shit show of insanity this was. <laughs> the uh, prosecution is correct. Unless you can prove otherwise, this court will be taking this testimony as fact. No. This isn't good, man. Isn't there something we can do? I don't know. If only there was some way to prove he's lying. If there is, it has to have something to do with that backpack. <gasps> you think so? Perhaps I should unbutton one more button on this shirt and go from work <laughs> yeah. to play. I don't know, man. I don't know what else we can do. What do you think? Perhaps I should take this <laughs> unpopped water balloon off of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check the backpack. Give up. This shit is too hard. Your Honor, I think there's something worth checking out about that backpack. Whoops. If the court will allow, I'd like to see if my hunch is correct. Absolutely not, Your Honor! They will tamper with the evidence! Had we already done this? This feels a little familiar. Yes, but we had to stop because the backpack thing Oh, glitched. so this didn't get... Yeah, so no, they haven't seen this. I see. Got it. Yeah. These two care not for justice, only for their friend to avoid justice! <laughs> There's no justice! There's just ice! <laughs> I've known Aaron for years now, and he's one of the most honest people I've ever met. Oh, wow. Certainly in a normal court, like in Attitude City, such things are not allowed. Oh. But these are hardly normal circumstances. Thus, I will allow the defense to examine the backpack. <laughs> do I make myself clear? You know, it's funny, because I do see Brent really, like, putting on, like, a judge cloak cape type thing. Sure. And being like, hey, not bad. Yeah, yeah I could no, no. be right at home in that. I could wear this all day. Yeah. Yes! Absolutely crystal, your honor! Good. The defense may examine the evidence. Thank you, your honor. <laughs> now let's take a look at this backpack. Whoops. Uh, uh, holy jeez, man, what's in this thing? It's so heavy. It's filled with justice. That's it. I got it. I know how he's lying. Well, don't just stand there present the proof so we can get on with our lives. No, don't just stand there. Alright. Here we go, see if it works. Whoops. Seems unusually full of something. Your Honor, I'd like you to inspect the pocket Ross claims to have found our dinos in. Inspect the backpack? Yes, that's exactly what I said. Oh yes, of course. We can check the left side pocket to see if our witness is worth his bacon. <laughs> Is that a saying? I don't know. <laughs> Precisely. And judging by the sweat on his face, I believe all... I believe all we have here is soggy bacon, your honor. Nice. Don't put words into my mouth like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Very well, let's not delay any further. Open her up. Ooh! Mm. Po potatoes! <laughs> That's right, a nearly endless oh. supply of potatoes. Sweet Doki Doki reference. And his backpack is filled to the brim with them! Ridiculous! Preposterous! Ludicrous! I assure you it's not. Top of the morning!
witness? <laughs> Your Honor, if you would like, if you would please confirm for the court that other than the front pocket here, there is positively no other place that the dinos and, co and coins could have been. It is as the defense says. This backpack is completely filled with what feels like a million potatoes. Must be russet potatoes. <laughs> but, but why? It doesn't make any sense at all. Why would Jory have such an endless supply of potatoes in his backpack? That's a good question. Why does he seem to have infinite potatoes all inside one backpack? That's something Jory would do. I think he just really likes potatoes, dude. <laughs> wow. Well, you might have a serious problem here, Jory. I think we can get you the help that you need. The only help my client needs right now is help being cleared of these charges. I- I- I have to know. What? Tell me. Call Jory. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. This Jory. Hold, please, lovelies. Thank you very much. Let's see if he doesn't answer my call. <sighs> Come on, Jory. Come on, Jory. Come on, Jory. Come on, Jory. Come on. I can do it. Come on, Pick it up. Forget about that time we stuffed Pringles in your Pick face. Pick it up. Come on. Made you eat Pokemon shaped pancakes. Come on. <sighs> So close. Where is he? Where is he? He's probably out somewhere being handsome. Oh my god, you're so right. Ugh. He didn't pick up. Bullshit. I know, I'm so pissed off. What were you gonna ask him? He's gonna do that thing where he calls me back in like one minute. Mm -hmm. I was gonna ask him if he likes potatoes. Oh. Well, well, yeah, we'll just see how good the research from this game has been. <laughs> The only help my client needs right now is help being cleared of these charges. Well, you have made a strong case that Jory would not have done this. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa damn! That's <laughs> never happened before. I love it. He has no case at all! Sure, it seems like Jory is innocent, but that's simply what the defense would have you believe! It's my job to do that, though. But all he has stated is baseless conjecture. He has no real proof that Ross is the real culprit! The fact is, that the dinos were found in Jory's backpack! We also have a motive of avoiding- avoiding today's 10-minute power hour! I don't care how many potatoes were stuffed in his backpack, or how much the defense claims he loves these coins! All of those are lies made up by the defense to distract you from the story the hard evidence tells! Jory is guilty! Holy shit. Jory's guilty. Whoa, hey, okay, oh, order in this court. That was quite an impassioned speech from the prosecution. And he does bring up good points. No way. I've not heard of this potato obsession before today, so it strikes me as maybe too convenient? I know that in the past, Jory has been nothing but a good boy. That's true. But the evidence seems stacked in the prosecution's favor. Mm, you can't be serious. After all that? <laughs> You are very wise, Judge Brent. Mouth is all high. I know that justice will be measured for Jory according to the devious and sinister nature of his crimes. Hey, whoa. <laughs> yes, I think I have to agree with the prosecution on this matter. What? We lost? No, that can't be right. I'm sorry, Jory. I like you a lot, but given the circumstances, it seems I have no choice. Duh. Looks like you lose this time, video game boy! I'm sorry, Jory. I failed. This court finds the defendant, Jory Griffiths. Oh! Oh! Who? Huh? Dan? Me? <laughs> Wait, Your Honor. There's some. I, why? Okay. There's something off about those dinosaurs, and I think I know what it is. <gasps> something off? No! It's covered in jizz, right? Ha! Very funny! We've heard that joke a million times! There's no reason to interrupt the verdict! Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> it has everything to do with this. <laughs> what are you talking about, Dan? Roll with me, Aaron. I've got this one. Alright. What I mean is this. Damn, that animation. I love it. I don't think that's jizz at all. <gasps> that's one of my favorite screenshots. <laughs> Maybe ever. Huh? Not jizz? <laughs> Whoa, if it's not jizz, then what is it? And what does that have to do with this case? I think I know what it is. And if I can have those dinosaurs, I think I can prove Jory's innocence. Oh my god! Wait, I think I know what Dan's getting at. Your Honor, I request for Dan. 
Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, uh, uh, is it uh, so many choices? Does it smell? Taste them? Smell them? I don't know. I don't have my thing. Hold on. I need to consult my uh, phone a friend. This is embarrassing, Aaron. Frankly, embarrassing. I left my friends to phone over here. Well done. Subtle. All right, ring, ring, ring. Don't uh, ever suspect a thing. What do you think the answer is? I would have guessed smell them. I think it's, I think it's to be, uh, taste them or smell them. Oh, either one? Yeah, it's either one's fine. Okay. okay. <laughs> but, so help me God if you rub them on my nipples. <laughs> there will be hell to pay question mark? Be allowed to smell those stain-covered dinosaurs so we can find out what's really covering them. Ack! <laughs> that is an absurd request! I object to this! No trivial stain is going to change the outcome of this trial! You fools probably got it covered in some paint or something and you don't remember! Let's find out for sure. I'm not sure what to think of this Shit. request. <laughs> Come on, Brent. Your Honor, please think about this. This is a trivial matter. These stains have no relation to anything relevant. It's been a while. <laughs> the v <laughs> These boys stained. <laughs> the defense is stalling. The prosecution has a point. It has been a while since I've said I'm sorry. <laughs> defense, can you prove the importance of this defense? These, these stains? Oh, wow. Wow, my brain. <laughs> Aaron, I think we can. Uh, yeah? Yeah, we can prove it with... The power uh, of friendship. Uh, the the dinosaurs, right? I would think so. Yeah, that's gotta be- Oh, no, no, no. The backpack, because it's got milk stains on it. Oh... Uh... Right? The backpack? Your Honor, take a closer look at it. Okay, but this better be relevant. <laughs> ah! There's a stain here, too! Exactly. On one item, a stain may be trivial. But similar stains on two pieces of evidence? <laughs> well, that seems relevant to the case. <coughs> sounds like these guys were jizzing up a storm. <laughs> Too S much jizz. Sounds like a large quantity of milk was gathered in spite of the third. <laughs> That's- wow, it actually works in this case. I know. I should- no, no, it didn't, no! <laughs> the uh, prosecution will refrain from objecting without purpose. Oh! I apologize, Your Honor! I just wanted to hit my head on the desk! The defense has proven its point. Mr. Avedon will be permitted to conduct his, mm, test. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. It's all on you, Dan. Oh, shit. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> the white stain on those dinos. It's still fresh, and it's not what you think it is. Then, uh, what exactly is covering the dinosaurs if it's not dick milk? Gross. <laughs> but funny you should say that. It's actually just regular milk. Whole milk, to be exact. Don't know why I so confidently zoomed in with a taste test before I was <laughs> one million percent sure on that. <laughs> oh, no! I... <laughs> you can't be serious! How does that prove anything? Uh, it's because Ross has been holding a thing of milk this whole time. Yeah, how does that prove anything? <laughs> it proves everything, actually. Not only does this clear our client's name, it also proves that Ross was the real culprit. No way! Yes way, and I can back it up. See, what you don't know, Mr. Tutorial Dude. It's Tutorial Boy, thank you very much! <laughs> anyway, what you don't know is that Jory is deathly allergic to milk and dairy products. He wouldn't have gotten near these dinos if they had milk stains on them when he left the stream. There is one person, however, who is obsessed with dairy products here in this courtroom. <gasps> Ross! He does love milk. Oof! <laughs> Way to go, Dan. That's tough. That's a tough thing to say. <laughs> Oof! Uh, order, 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 I say, order! Ahem. I sense that you have some kind of idea of what really happened, Aaron. You bet I do, your honor. You piece of shit. When Jory left to put his backpack in the 10 minute power hour studio, he passed by Ross's office. Ross, who noticed Jory walk by, decided he would take him down a peg and set him up to be framed. Wow. Right after Jory left, Ross snuck into the room and stashed the dinos in Jory's backpack. 
He was obviously jealous of all the positive recognition Jury had gotten. In his rush, he clearly spilt milk he always seemed to have over the dinos as he was hiding them. It's clear from the evidence, Your Honor, that Jory could not have possibly stolen the dinos. No! That can't be true! <laughs> you must be lying! It's way too convenient for Jory to be allergic to milk! <laughs> as if. I have proof of his condition right here! You like grab Jory and force milk down his throat. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, it's Jory Sr.'s letter, right? Ah, yes. Yes. The uh, letter? Absolutely. M. It, it's for a, milk. <laughs> it's a letter, yeah. <laughs> it's a letter from Joey's father. And take a look at the very end. <laughs> it's as the defense says, deathly allergic to milk. And since Dan has proven that the stains are, in fact, milk, that makes it impossible for Jory to go near them. No one else likes milk like Ross does, and that makes him our real culprit. <laughs> oh, poor Ross. He's been defeated. Well, that certainly was quite the turnaround there. <laughs> turnaround power hour. I almost uh, sent a guilty person to the electric chair. <laughs> I mean, that that would have been the punishment, right? Yeah, sure. The electric chair. I presided over quite a few cases in my day, but I've never seen a case resolved quite like that. We say it's a massage chair. Hmm. Yes. But we just urge nobody to use it. Yeah. And then we electrocute them. Yeah. On a day's work for Danny's sex bag. Well, oh my god. Damn, oh, that's a sweet air guitar animation. <laughs> yes, well done, Mr. Avenon. Hey, I did a lot too. But with that, I think we can safely say justice is served today. Therefore, I find the defendant, Jory Griffiths, good, good boy. boy. Oh, I love it. Hell yeah. Everyone, <laughs> woo! Yeah! Hell yeah! Ks. Glug. Oh, ks. Glug, glug. Glug, glug, glug. Ah, this can of LaCroix is as refreshing as that victory. You did it, Aaron. I can't believe we won that. Well, technically, we won the case together. Teamwork, bro. Hell yeah, dude. I'm still in shock, though. That was intense as hell. Well, so am I. Shocked with joy, that is. Oh, hey, Jory. You guys really saved my butt out there. I can't thank you enough. Anytime, man. We did what any good friend would have done. You mean pose as lawyers illegally and thus tainting the sanctity of law and all it stands for? Exactly! <laughs> Ross! Hey guys. Come by to sulk, Ross? Nah, no. Nah. <laughs> I, I just wanted to say sorry to everyone. I mean, I knew all this was just for the 10 minute power hour, but, but even still. Wait, 10 minute power hour? What the hell do you mean? Yeah, of course. Why else would we go along with that ridiculous crap? You mean you guys didn't know? I thought you were in on it. Jory, did, did you know about this? No way, man. Nobody ever tells me anything. <laughs> Huh. So whose idea was all this? Brent? No way, he's way too responsible. Maybe it was that tutorial guy. He's the only variable here. Huh. Yeah, that's right. He's still here, right? I think so. We should go find out what all this was about. Well, looks like there's no hard feelings. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Oh, I hope to God those levels are gonna actually be fun to play. Talk about Mario Maker. I guess so. Dude, it's Ross. I don't think that's gonna happen. Mm. Yeah, you're probably right. But I'm gonna hold out hope for once. What? Another letter? Oh god, what now? Hello again. Hello again, Grumps. I've already heard tale of your valiant defense of my boy Jury. As a matter of fact, I think you two are naturals at this lawyer business. I was a hotshot lawyer in Attitude City before I changed to a career with the Merchant Marines. After defending that albino whale from that crazy peg leg stalker, I guess I felt the call of the ocean. But I still have contacts at the Attitude City Courthouse if you ever decide to have a career change of your own. Thank you again for saving my beloved Jory Jr. Sincerely, Jory Sr. Wow, Jory's dad has done a lot of things. He also says a lot of words. Hey, Dan, by the way. <laughs> hmm? What's up? Thanks for having my back out there, dude. The end of that trial was tough. I really thought we were actually gonna lo lo I really thought that we actually lost for a second there. Let's pause for one second. Yeah. Uh, not not pause the episode, just a pause talking for a second. Uh, knowing that Phoenix Wright and Edgeworth have a long-running, um, clearly gay love for each other. Right. What do you think the chances are that 
um, this is gonna wrap up with you and I, um, <laughs> developing some sort of very subtle feelings for each other. Um, I think those feelings are already there, Dan. Oh, well. It's yeah. omnipresent. <laughs> developing? Yeah, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> that flower's bloomed. Okay, go ahead. Thanks to you, we managed to save Jory from a life behind bars. Or losing fake coins, I guess. Like I said, teamwork, man. Guess you could say we served some sweet joint justice. Oh! Is he really just... Yeah, I went there. Couldn't help myself. Anyways, let's go look for that tutorial boy and find out what's going on here. Right. I don't know about you, but there might be more to this than just being a bit. Guess we'll have to find it. <laughs> Which... So I'm sorry. Okay. With some sweet joint justice? Aaron, you're a man after my own heart. Hell yeah. Yay! Yeah, bravo. Studio Lovelies. Studio Lovelies, you are awesome. Creatrix Diara. Wow, that's tough to say. Big Brother, always watching. Anastera. Anastera. Manuel Epic Guevara. We got merch manager Xavier, savior of the eggs green. Graphic design god is Goff and King Peggy. We got the programming team. Lead techno- well, that's the- yeah, Averleth and Isaac- <laughs> Oh, I won't say that one. Okay. Counterfeit Llama, Grob, Jim Jams, uh, Catlico, Lara, Splinter, username and use. <laughs> we got the writing team. That's Anastera. Traveling tell- uh, tell- uh, tellers- oh god. Oh, I uh, pause it! Oh, yeah, ca- uh, <laughs> Coda Newt Newt! Uh, f- f- Fatalist- Mad was, Cat! Uh, Spook Troop! Marker, Megasaurus, Peter! Peter Phil, uh, pie, pie on my cake! My cake. Spook Troop! Z- 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 Zorama? Zorama? Came yeah. out the pussy drawing fucking Mozart! Uh, Disco Duro Zero, Goff! Bob Ross's happy little friends, we got Andy, Cinnamon, Lion Soul, and Zorama! Saria Arts, um, Ackleby, Benuti, Finn Cohen, James Spencer, Jape Falcon, Jeebus, Safe State Corrupted Theta, Quality Assurance! <laughs> Allie from the Game Grumps team! Oh, good job, Allie. Anastara Thera Benuda, that one, Evan, Jape Goff, Falcon. Jape Falcon, Just Chad, Coda Newt Newt, Lazy Rex, and Mad Cat, ha ha! Nice. Check out our YouTube channel, thanks to Coda Newt Newt for making the trailer, Studio Lovelies. Wow. Wow. Ask around on either if you want to be part of the project. And to create tri- chicks Tiara for making the original Reddit poster and inspiring all of us to make this awesome game that epic. And to species to that is that to have it. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 oh, this is really nice. Look at they're all thanking yeah, each other. Yeah, they're all being sweet. They're uh, well, lovely people. Louis P. Kai something. <laughs> <laughs> Safe state corrupted. We're providing trivia boy a delicious voice. Oh, was the objection that was a that was a voiceover? Ah, for a trivia boy. To Brad Cunningham, we got the Hive Mind, Capcom and Ace Attorney team. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta shout them out. Absolutely. And to us for bringing us all many years of laughs, tears of joy, and a sense of belonging. Oh, geez, you've started to raise inspiration for many of our members as a beacon of hope for those passing through a dark time. We love what you do and hope you can keep doing it for many years to come. Hopefully one day in the future we can all jam Liquid Game Grumps up our collective pee holes. <laughs> and finally do the player, which also happened to be us in this case, but that- Man, thank you. You, like, very- in all seriousness, you've gotten us through dark times too. Yeah. And, uh, the- I- we can't thank you enough. That's- that- that's mutual appreciation society right there. As you were talking about that, I was having that optical illusion where, like, the room was, like, melting. Because mm-hmm. I was so used to stuff scrolling up, and then when it stopped, it was like, Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. You're like, speaking of dark times, I believe I'm having an acid flashback, <laughs> and I've never taken acid. Thank you all so much. This was the sweetest shit I've ever seen. Incredibly um, nice. I mean... Right up there with Kirby's Dream Yeah, course. like, pretty amazing, like, Grum's Dream Course and this, and... Some of the most creative people are fans of our show, and we, we are... Couldn't be more honored and grateful of that. Hashtag schmumbled. Hashtag. We are super we are schmumbled. deeply schmumbled right now. <laughs> Hashtag deeply schmumbled. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Studio Lovelies, rock on. Uh, is there anything more after this? Or is it one of those screens where it just? Ha- oh, I can still open up the My inventory. My prized possession. Yeah, that's it, man. It's, All right. It's one of those. It's one of those NES style endings where. You can well, yeah, because now we can take a picture of it and show our friends. Yeah. And just be like, guys, check it out. Look, I did it, I cleared the game! Uh, I rule, I guess. Um, but yeah, a million thanks to you and, uh, the, the folks at home, and, 
um, we will uh, we'll catch you on the flippy flop, as all the kids say on the Tiki Talk. <laughs> we just got a Tiki Talk. We did get a Tiki Talk. You go subscribe to it. I guess it's Game Grumps on Tiki Talk. Yeah. But yeah, that was the thing. Yeah. Thank God bless Allie for handling that. Voice, <laughs> yeah, seriously. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> all right, bye. Love you all. Goodbye. Hold it. Jory, welcome to the show. Hello, gamers. Uh, Jory, I I have a, cu a few questions for you, okay? Okay. Uh, are you deathly allergic to milk? Wait, now I'm worried about external threats on my life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, no, I'm not allergic to milk. Why would I be worried about being killed? Okay, I'm not making any sense. So you're not deathly allergic to milk? I'm not. Okay. Question number two. Are you a big potatoes fan? Is that a band? No, like- It did like, sound like a band from the way you phrased that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Are you a fan of potatoes the food? Yes, I am. Like, mm. on a scale of one to ten, how would you say big of a fan would you say? An eight to a nine. Wow! wow. So you would be willing to, like, stuff a backpack full of potatoes, yeah? Is that a thing I do in the game? What? Not necessarily. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, let's just say there's there's potential there. Uh, am I stealing the potatoes? Listen, listen. Maybe you should just play joint justice for yourself. That's right, joint justice. Google it now, baby. We ask the okay, fucking questions um, here. <laughs> wait, I have a really loud keyboard. I'm not gonna Google it right now, but I will in a moment. <laughs> Jory, we love you dearly. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, I'm delighted to hear your voice, and I am. I hope that you are too. Hell yeah. You're having happy gaming. Yeah. Love you, Jory. Wow, I love you. Hell yeah. All right. I love you. Wow. Uh, I, no, I love you dot dot dot. Like you're supposed to end that with a word. I love you. Master? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Unsure. <laughs> uh, all right, that was great, Jory. Thank you. Of course, gamers. Well, uh, I hope. How's the game? Uh, it's really good, actually. Yeah, like, it's, it's kind of amazing. It's written really well. They sort of got our voices like pretty, pretty, pretty well. Um, all, I, all I saw from it was Eric or Ali sent me one screenshot of. Effectively saying I was a big-time dino lover. Yep. Like, they really got it. <laughs> they, they sure did. Yeah. That actually leads me to my next question. Are you a big-time lover of dinos? <laughs> <laughs> Nominally, yes. Aren't we all? Yeah. Well, fuck yeah. I think so. Awesome. Well, you're, you're a treasure, Jory, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you for the call, gamers. Love you, Jory. <laughs> Later, brother. Love you too, buddy. Bye. 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 Well, that was delightful. Delightful indeed, my friend.